Welcome back. Uh, mining and energy are vital industries for Namibia. Now, despite a sharp drop in commodity prices this year, the 50th largest country in Africa continues to grow. Namibia's Minister of Mining and Energy, Opeth Kajose, recently sat down with VOA's Alexis Christophers to talk about how the country is uh, uh, counteracting the commodities sell-off and attracting foreign investment. It contributes 13% of GDP, I think from fisheries or just about equal to fisheries. Okay. Yeah. Well, we know that commodities prices have been hit very hard recently. Tell me how that has affected business within Namibia. Right now, we are just at the very beginning of that cycle down, and uh, we're feeling the prices going down. For the, the period before that, it really was a boom mm. and still remains a boom. The most affected is diamonds and uranium. Mm -hmm. For the rest of the other commodities, yes, we are experiencing a downturn, but not as much. And why is that? How have you been able to insulate yourselves when some other African nations have not been able to? Over the many years, we promote very, very actively the potential and the investment climate is a top priority for our government. We tour around the world as we woo and lure investors to Namibia. Mm -hmm. Whether it's during low times or high times, we buy, we've been ranked number one in the African content by the Fraser Institute of Canada. So, and that's as a result of keeping the investors very, very live mm -hmm. within our context. And so have you seen any sort of foreign investment money dry up during this time period or, or has it been steadily growing? It's steadily been growing if I equate that to the last 25 years. Mm -hmm. um, our economy has actually structurally and otherwise grown by 15-fold in the last 25 years. Mm. One can only deduce that that incremental effort has borne real fruits for us. Or periodically, like in now, we do suffer or experience the downturns. But overall, the curve has been on the upward trend. Are you noticing that some of your clients, some of the larger mining companies, are starting to cut back because they need to make strategic decisions in the face of falling commodity prices? Indeed. Mm -hmm. That's very true. Um, we How so? How have they been cutting back? Um, they've been cutting back, especially we experience the, the retrenchment cycles. Mm -hmm. Go down on that one. The investment period would perhaps last over a longer period than it otherwise would, say, mm -hmm. if it had to happen in five years. As companies wait out for the periods and the cycles to come back up to the hails of the market. Have so you, that, that's how companies behave. Have you been seeing any layoffs because of this? Um, in the last um, six months, we are just about to experience layoffs, yes. We've seen, say, up to three or five layoffs, yes. And what's the outlook for the mining and energy sector within Namibia in the next, say, six months to a year out? Mining is a backbone, it's part of the backbone in our country. Uh, mining remains a very significant contributor to the GDP and the benefits to our country. Mm -hmm. Minister of Mines and Energy of Namibia, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you indeed for having me. And I'm Alexis Christophers, VOA News for Africa 54, New York.